All right, guys, we're on Leviticus 2. Leviticus 2, the first one, the Lord's burnt offering. More policy and policy, policy. It's just boring. Anyway, Leviticus 2. And when will any, and when any will offer a meat offering unto the Lord, his offering shall be of fine flour, and he shall pour oil upon it, and put frankincense thereon, and he shall bring it to Aaron, Aaron's sons, the priests, and he shall take thereout his handful of the flour thereof, and of the oil thereof, with all the frankincense thereof, and the priest shall burn the memorial of it upon the altar to be an offering made by fire of a sweet savor unto the Lord and the remnant of the meat offering shall be Aaron's and his sons and is it a thing most holy of the offerings of the Lord made by fire and if thou bring an oblation of a meat offering baked in the oven it shall be an unleavened cake of fine flour mingled with oil or unleavened wafers anointed with oil and if thy oblation be a meat offering baked in a pan it shall be a fine flour unleavened mingled with oil thou shalt part it in pieces and pour oil thereon, it is a meat offering. And if thy oblation be a meat offering baked in the frying pan, it shall be made of fine flour with oil. And thou shalt bring the meat offering that is made of these things unto the Lord. And when it is presented upon the priest, he shall bring it un unto the altar. And the priest shall take from the meat offering a memorial thereof, and shall burn it upon the altar. It is an offering made by fire of a sweet savor unto the Lord. And that which is left of the meat offering shall be Aaron's and his sons. It is the thing most holy of the offerings of the Lord. Made by fire, no meat offering which ye shall bring unto the Lord shall be made with leaven, for ye shall burn no leaven, nor any honey, and any offering of the Lord made by fire. As for the oblation of the first fruits, ye shall offer them unto the Lord, but they shall not be burnt on the altar for a sweet savor, and every oblation of thy meat offering shall thou season with salt, neither shall thou suffer the salt of the covenant of thy God to be lacking from thy meat offering, with all thy offerings thou shalt offer it. And if thou offer a meat offering of thy first fruits unto the Lord, thou shalt offer for the meat offering of thy first fruits green ears of corn, dried by the fire, even corn beaten out of full ears, and thou shalt put oil upon it, and lay frankincense thereon. It is a meat offering, and the and the priest shall burn the memorial of it, part of the beaten corn thereof, and part of the oil thereof, with all the frankincense thereof. It is an offering made by fire unto the Lord. So the Lord likes food made by fire. He likes um he likes meat, right? <laughs> the Lord, I'm going to write that down. The Lord likes meat. God has never hurt me. Man has hurt me. It wasn't God who hurt other people. It was me who hurt other people. All right, so. Let me nosy fuck. So anyway. So, so the Lord likes meat. <laughs> so don't, I don't even care if I sound like I'm uh, making a joke out of God. The Lord likes fire, meat, corn, <laughs> and salt. I'm going to highlight as well. I think that's kind of funny. Anyway, that's Leviticus 2. Peace.